Oh, what a friend I have in Jesus. All our sins and grief he bear. What a privilege I have that I can come before God's present this morning in prayer. Jesus, I said, thank you for the privilege that you've given to me this morning. That I can come before your present, believing that Jesus Christ put me to bed, watch over me, wake me up this morning, and bring me in his present. I take this moment, this morning, Lord, he said, because of your love, because of your grace, because of your mercy, and because of your tender care towards me. I can sit at this table this morning and say, Jesus, you are wonderful. You are merciful. You are loving and you are kind to me. God, I believe in the name Jesus. I believe that you was crucified on the cross. I believe you were buried in that tomb. And I believe Jesus that you was raised from the dead and extend my life. That's why I can sit here this morning and say, Jesus, to you, all the glory, to you, all the praise, to you, all the honor, I give unto you, Jesus. Father God, I do not I stress, I said, I do not take nothing for granted. Because Jesus, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, and if it wasn't for your mercy, I don't know where I would have been today. So this morning, as I come into your present, I am asking you, Jesus, in no other name I am asking you, Lord, have mercy upon me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have mercy upon me. Grant me the ability, Lord, to be faithful, to be humble, to be trustworthy to you, Lord, not to man. Not to myself, but to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is life. And I thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit that live and dwell within me. And cause me to realize and understand how... Yes, Lord. The Holy Spirit that come and live and dwell and work and operate within me. Allow me to realize and understand that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the only way. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the only way. I believe, Jesus, that you are the way. You are the truth and you are the light of the world. I make a decision, Lord, to accept the light of the world. Without the world, the light, without the light, I am in darkness. Darkness is sin. Darkness is evil. 
Darkness is corrupted. Darkness is messed up. And I was messed up because I was in darkness until Jesus Christ of Nazareth shine his light in me and show me the difference between wrongs and right. Lord, I can sit here this morning. I can truly sit here this morning and look into my life and see how messed up I was. Hmm. How messed up I was. How messed up I was. I said, how messed up I was. My brothers and my sister, I am sitting here this morning. I am praying to God as he wake me up this morning. And Jesus is showing me how messed up I was. God said to tell you to look into your life and see how messed up you are. Jesus said to look into your life and see how messed up you are. God is calling you out of your mess. Jesus said, I want to take you out of the dark. I am shining my light in you right now. I am speaking to you right now. Look into your situation. Look how messed up you are. The things that you're doing, they are all wrongs. And you know they're wrong. But because you are so messed up, you cannot see. But I am shining my light in you today. Take a good look into yourself. Take a good look into your life. And see how messed up you are. The light of the world is Jesus. Jesus is shining his light this morning into someone, somewhere, someplace, wherever you are. Watching this video, God said, come out of the dark. Come into the light and then take a look and see where I take you from. Where you are today. God want to change your situation. He want to give you a spiritual life. That you will be able to walk right. Live right and do right. The things I used to do. I do them no more. The place I used to go. I go there no more. The friend I used to hang out with. I hang out with them no more. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Show me clearly that my friend is not my friend. The people I'm hanging out with is not my right company. The place I used to go, I would go there no more. Because Jesus is saying, come out of the dark and come into the marvelous light. I shine my light in you that you can see clearly the difference between wrongs and right. Jesus is calling you, my brother. Jesus is calling you, my sister. In the name of Jesus, Jesus is calling. Come unto me, all ye that labored, heavy, labored and heavy laden, and I, Jesus, will give you rest. God wants to give you comfort. God wants to restore your life. But you have to allow him. Give him the ability Give him the chance. Give him the opportunity to enter your heart. This morning, Lord, I sit at this table to do my normal prayer. But Lord, you take me into another direction. But I made a promise to you, Jesus, that wherever you send me, I will go. And whatever you ask me to do, I will do, Jesus. Normally, I will sit and just pray. But God is leading me into a different direction this morning.
But God, I am a humble servant. I am here to serve. I am here to work in the kingdom of God. And when I am in the kingdom of God, I do what my king tell me to do. Jesus, this morning, I'm saying again, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for bringing me to the table. Thank you, Lord, to speak through me. And God, I pray that every years that here this morning or this afternoon, or wherever you are, night or day, listening to this prayer, I pray that your heart will be touched. Your mind will be touched. Your body will be touched. You will see life in a different light. You will ask yourself question, am I living for Jesus? Yes, Lord. You will ask yourself question, am I living for Jesus? Or am I living for the enemy? Because the enemy plan is to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth come to give life and to give it abundant. My sisters and brother, choose life. Choose life. Jesus is life. Jesus is light. Jesus is medication. He's a doctor. He's a healer. He's your food. He's your roof. He's your car. Everything is Jesus. He is the provider. He is the way maker. He is the deliverer. And he is the problem solver. There is no problem that is too big that Jesus cannot fix. He is the creator. He created heaven and earth. And he created everything in it. Life, trees, plants, everything on this earth. Water, God created. He is the creator. He is the healer. And if you believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the creator, then you are a part of the kingdom of God. This morning I heard you, if you not yet accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you not yet accept this man Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I dare you to give him a chance into your life. Heavenly Father, hmm. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you for your loving, tender, care, and mercy to me. God, you are wonderful. You are loving and you are kind to me, Jesus. I bow my head and I look to you. And I see where you take me from. And what you deliver me from. How many times I've been to close death, near death. Near death. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You said not yet. I have works for you to do. God here I am. Making myself available. For you to use. Jesus use me. I am available. To use. Speak to me. Let me hear. Your voice. Open my eyes. And show me sign and wonders. Jesus let me hear things. That my natural ears will not hear. God let me see things. That my natural eyes will not see. Jesus, use my mouth as a microphone. Use my mouth as an instrument for you. Speak through me, God. Let the hears hear. Let every hears hear and receive. Because God, it is not me who speak but you speak through me. 
because you give me the authority to speak. Yes, Lord. I thank you this morning. And I pray in the name of Jesus that not one word that come out of my mouth this morning will go in vain. But Jesus, your children who hear will receive wherever they are morning, evening, night, or day watching and listening. God, let these words become life in the name of Jesus. Let these words become life that God, whoever here, will receive. This morning, God, I pray for sick. Jesus, you are the doctor. You are the medication. You are the healer. You are the provider. And you are the problem solver. I pray this morning for sick. Wherever you are this morning, lie in your bed, in the hospital bed, in the mental home, and you have the privilege to hear the sound of my voice. This is not my voice. It is the voice of Jesus speaking through me, saying, receive your healing and your deliverance. Jesus is saying, receive your healing and your deliverance in the name of Jesus. God is saying, this morning, wherever your problem is, wherever your situation is, God is saying, rest your hand in the name of Jesus. Believe God's words. Believe God's for yourself. Accept Jesus for yourself and accept your healing and your deliverance. God is the only one who can deliver you and set you free. Lay your hands on yourself wherever your problem is and call on the name Jesus three times. Yes, Lord, I hear it. Rest your hands on your problem right now in the name of Jesus. Call the name Jesus three times. Your problem will disappear in the name of Jesus. If you only believe it, do it in Jesus' name. And when you're done, check yourself. Check yourself. Leave a comment. God done it again. Yes, just leave a comment. God done it again. That hard earth can see and believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He don't lie. Whatever he said he will do, he will do it. Yes, Lord. Whatever he said he will do, that what he will do. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. Trust God. Believe in God. Walk with him by faith. And he will do the rest. So this morning, God, I just want to quickly pray for my neighbors, my surrounded neighbor, the neighborhood, and the people in my neighborhood, that God, you will touch them from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Cover this town of Luton and the people of this town of Luton, Lord. God, remember my wife and children, my sisters and brother, my nieces and nephew, and my in-laws, my grandchildren, Cover each and every individual under the blood of Jesus. Let the power of God, let the anointing of God and the Holy Spirit of God be with them. Father Jesus, I surrender to you this morning. I surrender to you this morning in the name of Jesus. To you, God, I give glory. To you, I give praise. To you, I give honor. And to you, I say, Lord, thank you. Touch each and every person, God, right now who's traveling. Lord, wherever they travel, hear land or sea. Lord, guide them, protect them, deliver them safe to their destination, Lord. Only you can do it, Jesus. Only you can do it. So, God, 
as I am coming down, I bring my church, Lucy Pentecostal Church. I bring before you right now. I bring our pastor, Pastor Ferry by name, Sister Bethel and the family. Lord, I bring each and every individual before your presence right now. And I say, God, touch from the crown of their head unto the sole of their feet. Lord, wash them in the precious blood of Jesus. Cleanse them from all unrighteousness. God, give them the desire of their heart to do your will. Give them the desire of their heart to do your will. Because God, we are just humble servant before you. We are just humble servant before you, God. We are not perfect. We are not perfect, Jesus. But only you perfect. You are the perfect one. And we strive to be perfect, Lord, just like you do. Lord, take over this morning. Let not one word that come from my mouth go in vain this morning. As I bring the elders, the deacon, and the trustees before you. Of Lucy. I bring the members, the bridges, and the children. The praise and worship team, the musician, the nurse, and the staff. God, touch, heal, deliver, and set free. Lord, to hear my prayer this morning. Hear my prayer this morning, Lord. As I bring every individual in this town of Luton before you. Lord, those who accept you as their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray you will strengthen them, God. Give them the ability to go forth and tell the good news, O oh, wonderful Jesus, is to those that not yet accept you, Lord. And I pray, God, for those that not accept you as their Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God will minister soft word unto the ears that, God, they will turn their life around and find you, Christ Jesus, as their Lord and Savior. God, I thank you this morning. I thank you for your love towards me. I thank you for your care towards me. And I pray this morning that the same love will extend through Luton and the surrounded Luton that each and every one will realize and understand that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is love. God bless each and every individual this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your visitation. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that come and minister to my heart in prayer this morning. Lord, thank you. God bless in Jesus' name. My viewers and my subscribers, I never even realized the sun coming to the camera. But God is good. Thank you very much. If you watch this video to the end, thank you very much. God bless. God bless. This is Lucy Pentecostal Church. And this is where I go to church. So my viewers and my subscribers, if you're looking for a church to go to in Luton, so this is Lucy Farm, Damanic Square. And this is Lucy Pentecostal Church. And we have service from 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 midday. Well, we finish and have tea and coffee and socialize. So if you're looking for a church to go to, Lucy Pentecostal Church is a very friendly church for you to come. Come join with us if you don't have a church to go to. We are friendly people and we're looking forward to welcome you in Lucy Pentecostal Church, Lucy Farm, Damanic Square. So check us out. <laughs> 